morning everybody. I'm like starting the day off pissing off a bunch of truckers, huh? So we had, it's Friday the 2nd of September. I'm switching back to corn. We've been all over the place cutting feed. We went out to the dry land two days ago. Between the two machines, we cut a 300 acre patch. That was interesting, cutting terraces with choppers and semis. Nah, it's just been one of those starts, you know? And today, like I said, got a lot of pissed off truckers because at the last second, when I was leaving with my chopper, Glenn was headed to his. Big Chief said, hey, we need to wait. There's a real heavy dew. And I go, since when do you ever have a delay because of a heavy dew? So we start calling everybody. Well, shit, every trucker is already at the field. So, yeah, they're, they're all in a delightful mood now. It's going to be one of those days, you know? Neighbor Sunflower Patch is looking pretty good. It's heavy enough it's pulled all over, so they're starting to dry down. There's quite a few sunflowers in this valley this year. I mean, because they don't require all that much water. Works out pretty good. We've got the processing plant right here in town for the oil, so I don't know. I've never wanted to grow it because I don't want to deal with. Uh, um, I've never wanted to deal with all the uh, combine fires. It seems every year somebody's combine catches on fire. Normally they can get it put out right away before it does damage. Um, never wanted to deal with that and dealing with the stocks afterwards how brutal they are on everything and then getting that soil back up and going because sunflowers are amazing at harvesting that soil for anything and everything useful in it it's actually really impressive what they can do really can't stress enough how bizarre this start has been to harvest um like i said earlier it's second of september at least i said that earlier if not it's second of september um we should be in the heart of our corn bush right now. I mean, it should be all out, go, go, go. And all we've been doing is kind of picking at the edges. Just because it's not ready. And I don't know if it's because of how slow everything grew and then everything is drought stress. And corn and feed, if you stress them, they will hold on to water for dear life. I mean, a corn plant or a feed plant, it can be looking like it's burnt up. And you go to chop it and it'll still be 70 some percent moisture because it clings to that moisture so yeah it's been well I'm, we're thinking next week is when stuff's really going to get crazy and yeah but normally by labor day we got a very big chunk of harvest done so it's it's odd to be in this situation but either way i see four trucks waiting on me We'll get started and see how this day turns out, huh? That didn't take long. Oh, we're short on trucks right now. I've got four. I'm hauling to the big feedlot right there. As my kids always call it, Cowtown. They see the castle at Cowtown. That was always a fun game. When my daughter was really little because she really liked joking about it. Um, it's dead. Need a better mount. Um, but yeah, so I've only got four trucks. Glenn's got three, which is more than he needs where he's at. But he's probably only gonna be able to cut two, three loads and have to move. And where he's moving to, three isn't even gonna be close to enough. Uh, what are we missing? I've got the four guys from over here. He's got the two. It's just our, our three is missing is all we're missing at the moment. So. Yeah, it's one of those, it is what it is. We're not in a super big hurry yet as we're just trying to figure out moistures. This says so far it's averaging 65. I have a feeling that's going to come up a little bit as I get into the heart of this field. But yeah, just it's here. Keep on going, see how it works out. I'm going to play on TikTok or Instagram because it's boring. big question for us right now is how many acres do we need to get across um, 
the feedlot says they want 30,000 ton and they're going to cut it off at 30,000 ton. In a normal year, that'd probably be like 1,200 acres because you're going to average 25-ish ton. Um, this year, it all kind of depends, you know. I mean, if we cut stuff that's... Whoa! My mount's falling apart on me. If we cut stuff that's only five foot tall, it's going to be like 2,500 acres. But right behind me, that was 20 plus ton corn. So it's, it's honestly just a guessing game right now. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the 1,700 acre range. Maybe a touch more. I don't know. Everything is so damn variable. I mean, this field I'm in now, it's anywhere from one ton to about 23 ton. It's, it's been an aggravating year. I haven't checked in with you guys in a little while. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder. Glenn's here now. Um, it's actually been a really good day. Covering a lot of acres. Corn sucks, but you know, whatever. Nothing to do about that. But yeah, we've got a lot of acres covered. It's been well, actually a really good thing. Yeah, I like it. I've been having the stereo running all day, listening to music. But I've got this like black cloud in the back of my mind that just keeps creeping in. And that is that is September 2nd. Water is very scarce right now for us. We've oh, got God. some coming. We've got to start getting wheat planted, which means we've got to get tillage going, get the drill ready. Oh, and we've got a whole bunch of hay to bail. Oh, it just never ends. And based on what we're seeing today, it's looking like the corn run has started. I bet we can probably chop all day tomorrow. I don't know if we'll run all weekend, but yeah. faster it goes with two choppers than one. Either way, we're kind of at the 120-ish acre mark. Got another 30 or 40, something like that. We're going to go try and knock out. It's 4 o'clock. We're short on trucks. Yeah, that's probably going to kill the rest of the day. So, yeah, on to the next one. I don't know if you can hear the machine working, but this is nice. We'll go to the left first. Uh, we are in 20 plus ton of for only the second time this year. We so far had one 45 acre patch hit almost exactly 20. This is better than that. But as you can see looking out the window, it is dark to the north and it is coming this way. I'm getting so sick and tired of our forecast being so horribly wrong. We had so much hay swap the other day. Shower comes through. Three, four tenths, enough to ruin a lot of farm quality hay. Like 300 acres of farm quality hay, just ruined. Now it's getting dry enough, we're hoping to still salvage it at a little lesser value. Here comes another rain. Neither storm was forecasted this week. It was supposed to be 90 degrees and sunny all week. Ah, it's just aggravating. But on the plus side, we're cutting good corn. Glenn's punching holes. Worked out about right. It is 6.30. Last truck just left. Bart just called. Sounds like it's time to bail. But then Maddie also called. And something is on fire in her truck. So she is down. It was a kind of crash landing the end of the day. Well, day's not over yet. We got a long ways to go still. Dan the silage day it was kind of a crash landing. So, wind's ahead of me by about two miles. Head home, figure out what the plan is. It's kind of cool looking. Either way, 
see on this call while I was outside looking things over. So let me see what's going on there. Oh, that's frustrating. Had less than a tenth of an inch come through with that little shower. Screwed up any chance of bailing tonight. Which in turn, well, I was going to turn the camera around. Uh, which in turn means it's got to be raked tomorrow, lay all day, bail it hopefully tomorrow evening. Hopefully being the key word. Ugh. Just, ugh. <laughs> uh, there's close to 100 acres we can probably rake tomorrow and leave lay. Um, what is it? I had something else. Oh, and then it sounds like if all goes well, chop tomorrow, take off Sunday, potentially Monday. But we got to see how everything goes and what the moistures are because I think we're about out of dry corn and going to be back into the green stuff. So, yeah. Look at them clouds. That's the other problem. I don't know if the camera is picking it up at all keep looking straight forward because I'm looking at lightning. There's another round of scattered showers leaving I-70 up there headed south. The Kansas boys are getting rained out. Probably can't even see the lightning. There's some up that way. Kansas is getting rained out. We might wind up getting rained out, which honestly right now wouldn't hurt my feelings kind of at that point where I'm like I'm ready to get done get this over with get get going but whatever 